Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile your bank account. I'm reconciling for some stuff I'm doing for one of my courses. It's kind of boring, but also if you've not reconciled, maybe it would be kind of nice to see somebody reconcile. So a handful of ways to get to the reconciliation screen. What I'll do is I'll click on the gear in the upper right hand corner, and then I'll go down to reconcile. On the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to select which account I'm reconciling. In this case, it's going to be the operating account. In my other tab, I just need to get my statements. So these are all my statements organized by date. So I can see that I've last reconciled for February. I need to reconcile March. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to find March. My starting balance, my ending balance. I usually just double click, right click, and then say copy. Come over here and I paste it. From my date, I type it in. I don't put slashes. I don't use the calendar. I just type it. When I click away, it'll put the slashes for me. I'm going to choose start reconciling. What I'm going to do is select all. I'm going to discover there's a difference and then I'm going to unselect the things that do not appear on my statement. If you were doing this for your own books, you would go look it up and figure out like, what is this thing that is sitting here that never reconciles? The course that I've created is a cleanup course. I'm just creating some extra documents for people who want to do the cleanup alongside with me. So now I think that 260 doesn't appear on the statement. The reason I think that is because when 260 is selected, that's my difference. So I, I get to be a little loosey goosey with it because this is all my fake stuff that I have made, but let's double check. If I go to the statement and I zoom in, I can see all the withdrawals and 260 is not one of those withdrawals. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click finish now. So now it says it's reconciled through March and I just need to put in April. So I'll close this and I'll grab April. Start reconciling. Again, I'm going to select all. I'm going to uncheck the things that didn't clear. Those things that didn't clear, they show up on my profit and loss and they show up in the balance sheet. Just because they didn't clear the bank doesn't mean they're not affecting my financials. If this was your QuickBooks and you see a bunch of stuff that is not clearing, that means you need to figure out what's going on and fix it. Um, in the course, of course, we go through, we discover, we fix. I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing prep work here. So I'll power through the next couple. Um, maybe it's helpful for you guys to see it. Maybe it's not helpful. If it's not, you can stop the video. If it is helpful, then, you know, fantastic. I'm here for it. Sometimes repetition is, is just the thing that you need to start feeling comfortable with what's going on. What did I do? This is June. This is June. Okay. I said there would be nothing else interesting, but there is. What did I do wrong? Let me close without saving, close without saving. I've just reconciled May. I should start with 67, 67. I should end with 69. I bet I just copied and pasted the wrong number. All right. Now we're off by 780, 299. Okay, we're good. You kind of see how having that stuff unclear just kind of comes back to haunt you. 
sometimes they'll work on a QuickBooks file with stuff that's been uncleared for years. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we need to fix this. We need to like make it go away, make it stop appearing. Like it just, it's one difficult to work around because it just takes up so much space. And two, it makes me sad because it's wrong. Um, okay. So in this case, I have two one nineties and I don't know which one to pick. They're both dated for the same date. If I look, if I look at the statement, I have one entry of 190. So really it doesn't matter which one I pick. I'm just going to pick one of them and unselect it. They're on the same date. They've got the same name. It's not like one is good and one is bad. You're just like, oh, I accidentally entered that twice. Click finish now. Would have been easier just to click the bottom two. I know that for next time. In this case, I'm expecting to click the bottom four. We'll see what I have in here. I made the messy file a while ago. Um, I just forgot to get some reports. So now I have to come back in and get the reports that I need. Finish. Yes. Done. So this one is long. Like, look at all these things. It's going to take me just as much effort to click the bottom as it will to click the top. So I'm going to say select all. I'm going to uncheck the first thing. I'm going to look with my mouse. I guess it's just these things. So I was able to hold down shift and then click and it unselected those things. So I click on finish now. I have these things up here that never cleared the bank account, but they still mess up my profit and loss and balance sheet. They still mess up my bank account balance. Let me just show you the bank account balance before I let you go. Uh, let's go to chart of accounts. Oh, well, make believe with me. Um, there is the QuickBooks balance here. And then if there was, if this was connected to the bank, if it wasn't fake, you would have a bank balance here and the bank balance would be different. And you might be like, oh no, like I've been reconciling. Why aren't they the same? And the answer is it's all that stuff that never got check marked off and, and never got removed because it's probably wrong. All right. I'm going to make a different video where I show how to get the reconciliation reports, which is what I really needed. I just needed to reconcile so that I could get the reports. If you have any videos you'd like to see me make, please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave them in the comments below. I'll add it to the list. Thanks.